Hi everyone, welcome back to Novel Nomad and today I'll be talking to you about a challenge that I have set for myself. Now I realise that I haven't read any non-fiction this year so far and that is quite a travesty. I do love my fiction as I'm sure you can see but I also love my non-fiction. I really like to be challenged in ideas, be instructed in previous past history and also to have my thought process and um, current theories questioned. So to get on with that I have set myself six books to read in the next six months. So starting off for the month of July which I have been currently reading is This House of Grief by Helen Garner. Now if you don't know Helen Garner is actually a literary author in Australia but she um, became quite obsessed with the court case. She often goes to the courts to hear stories and court proceedings. But Helen Garner became interested in this one particular case and it became an obsession for her. So in 2005 on Father's Day, three young boys drowned in the car their father was driving when it went off the road and plunged into a dam. So this case was highly distressing and highly publicised in the news of the time. I clearly remember this being in the highlights for Australian news. But what Helen Garner became obsessed with was the question was, was this a revenge killing? Was the drowning of the sons intentionally to hurt the ex-wife? This one has been quite a dark and heavy read for winter, but nonetheless really interesting to see how the current legal system is being played out in Australia. So in August I plan to read The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. Now this is about a young woman who had her DNA or cells taken from her and the cells never actually died. They've been used in multiple medical experiments but the problem was is the cells were taken without her legal permission. And so, so many scientific discoveries had been made using healer cells, but no one actually knew about the woman they originated from. So this is going to be quite interesting for me to read because I rarely get around to reading any science nonfiction, but also to have it mixed in with ethics and politics is going to be very, very interesting. Going more into my field of history study, I'm going to be reading in September If This Is A Woman by Sarah Helm. Now, This Is A Woman takes its name from Primo Levi's memoir, If This Is A Man. Um, it is about the Ravensbrück concentration camp during World War II, which was a women's only camp. Now, not much is known about the Ravensbrück camp, but Sarah Helm has dedicated this entire book to the camp itself because everyone knows camps like Birkenau and Auschwitz but Ravensbrück is rarely brought up and is rarely mentioned in many historical texts to, so to have this intensive look at what women suffered in a women's only camp would be very harrowing but incredibly interesting to see how women were treated in concentration camps. So following on from a quite a deep and dark September read, I'm going to go into Smoke Gets In Your Eyes and Other Lessons from the Crematorium by Caitlin Doherty. Now Caitlin Doherty is actually on YouTube, I'll link her down below and up here. She is so funny but so instructional. She talks about different ways people die and the different things and bust many many myths that are around what happened within a crematorium with the human body after death. It is just incredibly fascinating. But this is in fact her memoir um, or her early memoir of when she first became or first started working at a crematorium. Next for November I plan to lighten it up a little bit and it's only going to be quite a short read but one that I have been wanting to read for quite a while and that is A Sting in the Tail by Dave Goulson in this absolutely beautiful vintage classic covers like my H is for Hawk cover. Uh, the Sting in the Tail is naturally about bees. So it follows Dave Goulson who has always been fascinated with nature as he introduces some really interesting insights into the shorthead bumblebee and how he tries to introduce them back into their native land of Kent. And finally in December I thought nothing better than to read a bit of Bronte biography and it's going to be Take Courage and Bronte and the Art of Life. This is written by Samantha Ellis who also wrote How to Be a Heroine and Samantha manages to analyse Anne Bronte's life and see how she's been greatly sidelined in history um, for what she managed to bring to women's voice and women's writing during the early 1830s and how her rather passionate and gothic sisters managed to take the limelight for some very serious issues that Anne was bringing up in her own writings. 
Okay, so wish me luck as I venture into this non-fiction quest. Let me know any non-fiction books that you want to read, or any recommendations you have for me because I need to read more. But I hope you enjoy and I'll see you all next time. Bye!